Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam quoted, when learning is purposeful, creativity blossoms. When creativity blossoms, thinking emanates. When thinking emanates, knowledge is fully lit. When knowledge is lit, economy flourishes." Unquote. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Rosary College of Commerce and Arts, Navili, I extend a warm welcome to each one of you for this national level one day intercollegiate event, Personic 2022. Prayer is one of the ways that God chooses to share his infinite power and wisdom with us. It is beautifully said in the holy book, wherever two or three are gathered in the Lord's name, his divine presence is felt. To invoke God's presence in our midst, Ms. Lienza will lead us in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us the opportunity to gather here today. Thank you for providing the way for us to meet, grow, and learn. As we begin our event, Pesonic 2022, we dedicate this time to you. We pray for our participants from different colleges who made this event possible. Let us now listen to the word of God. The reading taken from the Gospel of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then makes my joy complete. By being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humanity, value other well above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the others. In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks. Now we will have a prayer dance.
set before us. We give you honor and glory, Lord. God wants only the best for his children. When we make him the center of our planning, we free him to give us his best. May he give us the desire of our heart and make all our plans succeed. Thank you. I request I request Acting Principal, Dr. Helic Barreto, to escort our chief guest, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, to the days. And I also request the other dignitaries to take their seats on the days. We are privileged to have Mr. Waldo Fernandez as our chief guest. It is, also our, it is also our privilege to welcome Acting Principal Dr. Helic Barreto, Vice Principal Reverend Dr. Jerome De Silva, Academic Coordinator Ms. Tracy Almeida, MCOM Program Coordinator Assistant Professor Jitendra Rabada, and the Student Event Coordinator, Mr. Sandrio Fernandez. The Postgraduate Department of Rosary College of Commerce and Arts, Navilim, is back with its annual commerce event, Personic 2022, with a plethora of opportunities to unleash the hidden business personality within the students. Packed with an array of events, Personic 2022 aims to capture your mind, provide a platform for reciprocation of ideas, test your business acumen, and discuss the dynamic trends of the buzzing corporate world. All the events have been thoroughly designed to widen your horizon, given your best of your ability, and, pro and prove yourself. It is a great pleasure in having you for the Personic 2022 to explore the hidden nook of the corporate world. A ray of light is a ray of hope. We will now have the lighting of the lamp ceremony. I request all the dignitaries on the days to light the lamp and symbolically inaugurate Personic 2022.
kindly be seated. Just as soulful music and good poetry stirs the soul, so too with flowers. They are pleasing to the senses and convey sentiments of affection, color, and warmth. I request Mr. Ganesh to present a potted plant to the acting principal, Dr. Helic Barreto. I call upon Ms. Valusha to present a potted plant to the Vice Principal, Reverend Jerome De Silva. I request Mr. Ganesh to present a potted plant to the Academic Coordinator, Ma'am Tracy Almeida. I call upon Ms. Rifa to present a potted plant to our chief guest, Mr. Waldo Fernandez. I invite our acting principal, Dr. Helic Barreto, to address the gathering. Before I start, I just request uh, any two students to come here and just keep the potted plants aside. You can get the tree. Oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, thank you, students. Good morning, everyone. Our chief guest for the day, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, our alumni because he was studying just like you in the same college a few years back. Now he has, after that, he has done his uh, uh, MBA from Goa Institute of Management. And now he's having a very high job through campus placements. And whenever we call him, he is always there in Rotary College. Our vice principal, the Reverend Dr. Jeromino De Silva, academic coordinator, Tracy Almeida, our MCOM program coordinator, Assistant Professor Jitendra, MCOM student coordinator, students, teachers, non-teaching staff, and all gathered over here. It's my privilege to welcome each one of you for this event. After the gap of two years, two COVID years, we are meeting once again and in a different mode, online mode, for this event. I also welcome the chief guest back to Rosary College, and this time in a different role for this event. The question is, we were trying to have this event for a long time. Suddenly, again, in the month of January, COVID reoccurred, and we keep on postponing. Then I said, finally, now we must have it. Whether it is online, I don't mind, I said, but we must have it. And then all of you started working, and today we are here for the event. The advantage of having online event is, because this is what we have understood now, earlier when we used to have offline event, the teams only from Goa used to come, they used to participate, because they had to physically travel from their colleges to our campus. But online gives an advantage for outstation teams to participate in an event without they being personally or physically present in our college. And that's the reason this year, till yesterday, 10 colleges have confirmed their participation. So 
out of the 10 colleges, you'll be surprised, only two are from Goa. And the remaining eight colleges are outside Goa. And today I just inquired, and I have been told that out of 10, one has backed off, and nine colleges are participating in this year's event, which is, you can say, uh, in terms of numbers, a significant increase in terms of participation. Because I remember for the last Pasonic event, only six teams had participated. That's about two years back uh, in the pre-COVID situation. So now I can say, yes, COVID is there. People are saying, people are saying, because of COVID, this, this, this happened. But I can take a positive part of COVID. Because of COVID and online event, we are in a position to increase or to get more teams for this particular event. So the point is this way. When there is more teams participating, that is a healthy competition. When only one or two teams participate and they say, okay, I have won the first place. The question is out of how many teams? Only two teams, only one team. So that doesn't signify, you can say, the competitive attitude of the teams. But out of nine teams, someone is saying, okay, I have won the first place. There is some value in that. So from that point of view, numbers are also important. And when more and more outstation teams start participating in events like this, we can see the competition level also improves, also increases. Because now from Goa, we have taken it to, you can see the entire south of India. Because out of the eight teams, five are from Maharashtra. One team is from Kerala, and one team is from Tamil Nadu. So I can see most of the south is, uh, most of the colleges from south are participating in this year's event. Next, I want to congratulate all of you because so this event cannot happen overnight. It needs a lot of planning. And most of the planning, in fact, all the planning has been done by your teachers, led by your coordinator, MCOM coordinator, Mr. Uh, Assistant Professor Jitendra. And along with this three and four teachers, because we have three contract teachers and one lecture business teacher in the department. So along with the four teachers, we have a team of 54 students from part one, and part two. So the teachers plan and you are there to execute the plans. Because when he told me uh, how to finance this event, so I said, what is your budget? So he told me, this is my budget. So I said, it will be difficult for the college to put that much money. If it is a small amount, I said, we can finance it. Then I said, what is the way out? He told me, what's the way out? I said, we can go for appeals and we'll see whether we can raise some money. and. You'll be surprised, we have collected two times more than what we had planned for. And that's the reason later on, we have add on a number of things in what uh, say we intend to do for this particular event. So in other words, you have shown your skills in raising resources. That is what you are learning in MCOM. So that in other words, you are implementing what you have learned already. And that will make you, you can say, good future leaders, wherever or whichever company you work at. So you have shown your marketing skills. Some people who are good in finance have also shown their financial skills by planning the budget. So we have two departments for MCOM, finance, marketing. Both have worked together. And that's the reason we are in a position to have this event successfully. I'm saying successfully, although we are at the inaugural level, but I know all of you had worked hard and your efforts will definitely bear fruits. See, we always say that we do something because we want to reap rewards. You study, not to stay at home, but you study because you want to work in a better company and you also want to progress. There are some students who study because they want to master the skills of business, entrepreneurship, and they want to practice it in their own business. So you have all the skills. The event has proved that you have already started implementing what you have learned, and the future is very bright for you. So I wish the department of MCOM a very big success. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for your encouraging words. I invite Father Jerome De Silva 
to address the gathering. I now invite Mr. Aldridge to introduce the chief guest. I'm honored to introduce the chief guest for the day, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, an alumni of 2016 BBA batch of Rosary College of Commerce and Arts. During his time at Rosary College, he won the regional level business plan competition by iCreate India, represented Goa at the national business plan competition in 2016, and won BM at Run Bhumi 2015. He was the best outgoing student at Rosary College for the year 2016. He's an advanced communicator of silver certification and has a bronze certification in advanced leadership at Toastmasters International. He has also held positions such as Vice President of Public Relations and Vice President of Education. He's an alumni of the 2020 MBA batch of Goa Institute of Management, where he won the marketing and strategy events for IIM Indore in 2019. He has also won Essential Business Innovation Challenge at Bangalore in 2020. After graduating from GIM, he started working with Roche Pharma India with the managing strategy and business insight of five states. We welcome you, sir, for our event. Thank you, Aldridge. I now invite our chief guest, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, to address the gathering. Principal, Helic Barreto, Vice Principal, Father Jerome, Academic Coordinator, Ma'am Tracy, Program Coordinator of MCOM, Mr. J Mr. Jitendra, and uh, the Program, uh, sorry, the Coordinator of this event, Sandrio. Did I get his name right? Yes. Perfect. So it seems like only yesterday that I left the portals of this wonderful institution and entered the so-called corporate world. I sat there in 2016, in 2015 when my event was happening and watched all the dignitaries on the stage. And here I am today as one of them. I would like to thank the Department of Commerce uh, of MCOM for having given me this opportunity to come and grace this occasion. And I know the hard work that has gone behind the, the successful execution of this event. I was there in 2015 on my bike going from shop to shop to find out some sort of uh, donation for our event when, which was called Impressions. I was there hosting this event back in 2015. I was there doing everything. I saw our faculty, I saw what hard work they went through. And I know the worth of having this event. And what better day to have this event than the beginning of a new financial year, the 1st of April. I, I would like to congratulate you for even selecting this day. It's the start of a new year, the start of new things. In fact, in order to give you a small story of how my life panned out, soon after I finished my 10th standard, uh, people said, uh, do science, it's probably the best. So guess what? First day, I was at Chogle College in the science batch. Did I like it? No. Well, I learned from my mistakes. In my 11th, I went to a career counselor. And when she did a proper brain mapping test, she realized that this guy is maybe good at BBA or maybe good at commerce per se. So then in my 12th, because I could not move to commerce, I moved to arts. And then I answered UGAT, which is the entrance exam for BBA and I got into BBA and I came to Rosary College as my first option. So I've done it all. I've done science, I've done arts and I've done commerce. And, and the proof is in the pudding. I loved commerce the best because commerce guides every day's businesses. The money that, the, that India makes each year is because of commerce. It is the guiding force of every economy. And you guys have specialized in commerce itself. So you guys are the future of the country. Commerce gives you so many investment avenues. Basically, whatever you studied is an investment in your future. And 
when you look at something like this, something that's so very lucrative, you need to ha take your decisions very wisely. So, once you have start, started studying, look, when I I'm come from the industry, so I work with Roche Pharma India and I manage five enterprise states in business insights and strategy. And the one thing that I have learned soon after your MBA, like I did an MBA from a reputed institute, but that doesn't mean that will make me different from the rest. So tomorrow all of you all will pass out and uh, go into the field and go into the corporate world. That doesn't mean one is better than the other. You all might be all the same, but it, it is your skills that you bring to the table that will differentiate you in the industry. So my, my earnest request to you is you might have finished your MCOM, which is a great thing, but always deep dwell into something that interests you the most. Like if someone likes investment banking or investments as an avenue, deep dive into it. Start working with someone that has your interest area in it because then later you'll be able to specialize. And the industry needs very specialized people. And develop um, a skill set that you keep updating year on year. So when it comes to three people, let's say we are looking at an interview and there are three people, and someone has three additional skill sets that might add some value to the organization, we would go ahead and select that person. So my earnest request to all you commerce graduates just like me is, specialize in a particular interest area that interests you in this field, it might be investment banking, it might be accountancy, it might be a lot of avenues within commerce. Specialize in it and that's what will differentiate you in, in your career, in your life ahead. Thank you for, to the department of MCOM for having invited me for this event. And I, I wish each and every one of you a very successful event and I know that's going to be a success just like how uh, Professor Helix said. Thank you. Thank you for your kind and encouraging words. I request Ms. Rifa to present the declaration scroll to the chief guest. I now request our chief guest, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, to declare the Personic 2022 open. I declare the event Personic 22 open. Thank you. Kindly be seated. On behalf of our college, I extend my sincere gratitude to our chief guest, Mr. Waldo Fernandez, who spared time from his busy schedule to grace the occasion. Today, we had an opportunity to hear your thoughts, and this will surely encourage us in our future events. I now request our principal, Dr. Helic Barreto, to present a memento to our chief guest. Thank you, sir. Personic 2022 is our endeavor to bring out the best and strive towards excellence. Aristotle aptly put it, Excellence is never an accident. It is always a result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution. With mediocrity not, op not an option, we too move on and hope to bring out the best in you. Have a wonderful time. Thank you.